Derek, it's a great pleasure to be interviewing you for the New South Wales Oral History. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'd like to start a little bit with your earliest years. Uh, you were born in 1931 and your father was eminent QC Sir Jack Cassidy. And you grew up in Orange? Oh, no. I grew up in Bellevue Hill or Rose Bay, I suppose, uh, correct, po correct postal address, um, uh, in a very interesting legal environment until my father bought it. Uh, we lived in a house in, at, at 49 Cranbrook Road, Rose Bay, uh, which was owned by Sir Dudley Williams, a judge of the High Court, and who lived next door. And uh, opposite uh, was Sir William Owen, also later a judge of uh, uh, the High Court. Uh, and they were both uh, very, very close friends of my father. So I grew up uh, in a very uh, legal uh, situation, um, except for one year, and I, I'm not, I can, I've never been able to work out whether it was 1942 or 1943, but of course, Rose Bay, Bellevue Hill were right in the firing line from any of the Japanese submarines that came past, and um, I was evacuated to the bush uh, for a year uh, when I had correspondence school uh, given to me by an aunt who lived. At a small, lived on a property at a town called Warrialda in the northwest of New South Wales. So uh, that explains the Blackfriars Correspondence School in 1942. Yes, yes. You clearly grew up in an environment, as you alluded to a moment ago, saturated in law. And uh, was it was it was a preordained outcome that you were going to be a lawyer yourself? Uh, yes, it was, uh, and a strange outcome. I at school. It, it, it was believed at that stage that one had to do uh, Latin at school to be able to do law, and indeed it was very useful. I loathed Latin, and I've never been any good at languages. Uh, I managed to scrape through with a B in the leaving certificate, um, but uh, in point of fact, no thought had ever been given to me doing anything else but going into law, I don't think. But uh, on my maternal side, um, they were all scientists. Uh, and um, my uh, grandfather, uh, uh, Dr. G. A. Waterhouse, was the, the uh, was the greatest butterfly expert in Australia, author of two books, Butterflies of Australia and What Butterfly Is That? Um, uh, and it's interesting at the moment because we're talking about um, getting coal gas from beneath Sydney. Uh, he. The thesis on which he got his doctorate was not on butterflies at all, uh, but um, uh, on the uh, coal seams uh, below the Cumberland Plain of Sydney. Um, and uh, uh, I, I, think, I think I really... Uh, uh, physics and chemistry were my subject at school. I got first class honours in physics. Um, and uh, I have... I, I think one of my skills as a practising barrister uh, was my ability to deal with scientists and with engineers. And uh, um, some of the cross-examination, well, some of the cross-examinations of which I'm most proud, and I'm not proud of very many of them, um, uh, were of um, engineers in relation to mining, accident, mining accident, accidents and in relation to a very fascinating case I had um, when I was appearing for the Water Resources Commission uh, when a dam which they designed collapsed um, and uh, uh, I had a very, very successful cross-examination of the plaintiff's expert as a result of which the plaintiff discontinued its case at the end of his, of his evidence. Um, well, I'd certainly like to return to a bit more discussion about that in due course, but I was just going to ask you, in light of your excellent results in science, you didn't toy at all with the idea of being a scientist as a career? Never thought of it. It was, it was just always assumed that I would follow my father. 